All right, guys. So, fooling with another video. Shout out to the whole LDBC. So, um, you know, in this video, man, like I, you know, as I said before, I'll say it again. Fool of sports is about all sports. That includes the the game of life too, uh, and the the game of uh, you know entertainment, which is very much a sport. Uh, some people are usually defeated by the sport, you know. Uh, some find a way to uh, prosper in the sport while maintaining all of their senses in the process. Um, and so, you know, man, I, I kind of want to talk about um, Amar La Negra, man. Um, you know, for me, uh, I, I dig the, um, the Afro-Latinos, man, me being a, a continental African, man, um, you know, you, you can, you can just easily take, uh, Afro-Latina and, uh, you can put her in the village and nobody would, would take, a um, a, like, blink a second eye at her, you know, the, she will fit right in. Now, um, you know, that's beside the point, but what the point I want to talk about, man, is I, I, I really think that at this point, this is my personal opinion. This is just my personal opinion. A Marla Negra does not need to be on love and hip hop anymore. You know, at, at this time, I think she's like outgrown that show, man. Like, I mean, because, you know, granted, some some of the love and hip hop stuff is, is staged. Some of it is pre-rehearsed and stuff like that. I, I don't really think she should just bother herself with that stuff anymore, man. I mean, I think at this point, like, um, she's bigger than, than that, you know. Um... The reason why I say that, man, is because when, I mean, I don't watch Love and Hip Hop, so to say, but the reason I say this is because of the simple fact that, like, when you when you watch these women on Love and Hip Hop, and I'm not saying all of them, but a majority of them, you know, like, it, I hate to say this, I really hate to say this, and you guys are going to think I'm, like, bashing black women, but that's not the case, but... When you watch these, when you watch these women on Love and Hip Hop, man, you know they they give like black women bad names, man, with their behaviors, and you know to a lesser extent they give um, they give you know uh, you know other women of ethnic minorities bad names too, man, with with like just how they act and stuff like that, like. Like, for me, like, and this is just me, you know, I, if if I were to, like, do that, if, if I were to, like, want to bring home a woman that was on that show Love and Hip Hop, my mom would, my mom would kill me, man. My mom is very traditional. My mom is, um still keeps the village values man like so she she would be like what she would be like what are you doing what the hell are you doing man and 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 that's that's the problem i i really have with this you know i think at this stage of marla negra she, she she she's at the stage where she is in a position that she can dis distance herself from this love and hip hop because granted you know i understand if you need a place a platform to start your your mission to start your goals to start your career i understand everybody got to start somewhere you know as a matter of fact um even with jay-z you know uh when he first came out, man, you know, he was wearing, he did a, he did a song where he was wearing, like, Hawaiian shirt, man, like, he did another song where he was doing, where I think it was called Sunshine or something like that, I mean, this is how he had to start out, Th this is basically ha how he had to start out in order to get his foot in the door, man, and I mean, I'm not mad at him for that. 
you know, because, you know, at the end of the day, nobody really, I don't think anybody really gets a big break, like, right away. I think the big break comes through, like, constant perseverance and constant effort, you know, that's, that's how I believe it to happen most, most of the time. Sometimes dudes are just blessed and women alike are just blessed with a big break, but sometimes you you already have um, you already have people who um, kick in the door for them, man, you know. Now back to Amar La Negra. The thing is about Amar La Negra is that you know she she seems to be one of the one members of that of that show loving hip hop that has more substance than a lot of them you know um when she when she was coming up she was in uh like pageants and whatnot um she was influenced by uh Celia Cruz I think she actually met Celia Cruz who is a Cuban uh a Cuban singer, you know, a, Cu- a Cuban salsa singer. So, you know, I I think that at this point, you know, what would work for her, in my humble opinion, is like a spinoff, like her own show, like just completely separate from the BS that, you know, she will have to be in in love and hip hop, man, because. Like, when you look at Love and Hip Hop, what it is, is it's like, the, the this show does not, this, in reality, this show does not cater to what she tries to do, man. Like, it, it really doesn't cater to, like, women's empowerment. It, it really does not cater to a woman being looked at in a good light, you know? Like, I mean, like, at the end of the day, like, like, why like it's not cool when you have women referring to themselves as bees when you know they refer to themselves saying I'm that bee that does this I'm that bee that does that and stuff like that and I'm not trying to sound like a simp or anything man but like at the end of the day like why not respect yourself you know just have a a little a little bit of respect for yourself, man. And then here's the other thing. You know, Amar La Negra, she is a Afro-Dominican woman, okay? Now, on the first season of the show, they were kind of counter, they were kind of like going into that, um, you know, into that narrative and, um, her and Juju, who is an Afro-Cuban, were kind of voicing the importance of them identifying with their uh, Afro-Latin roots and whatnot, but, you know, at the end of the day, that show is not really meant to, meant for that, man, I'm, I'm just saying, like, it's not really, it's not really a show that's meant to do that, I mean, that show is meant for gossiping, entertainment he said she said type things you know it's not really meant to get this across you know what they're trying to get across so that's why I think that you know she would be better off starting her own show um you know at this point man she kind of like she kind of have like some options man she had she got endorsement deals and stuff like that and also the simple fact she's going to be in a movie too. So like I mean with with these options available to her, I don't think she needs to be on Love and Hip Hop anymore, man. In fact, I would like to see her and Juju have a show that ha- that talks about these things. That talks about like the 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 disconnect and uh and like colorism in the Latin community and stuff like that. They should have a show about these things, you know? And they should like, what they should do is they should get like, 
different Afro Latinos, and even like because it it also happens in the Afro uh, Caribbean community, man, where you have like, for example, man, I, I've I've talked to many Haitians who said, you know, yo, man, um, you know, you, you're. Um, you're so dark, man, that I don't know if my, like, partners are gonna really get down with you, because, you know, you're, you're dark, and you fit the narrative of, like, just, um, the typical, uh, dude from the bush, because, you know, like, when it comes to this colorism, it's real, man, and it's, it, and, it, and it's in a, a lot of communities, like, even in my parts of Africa, we got a problem with skin bleaching, man, because, you know, um, of the simple fact we're fed this image that, like, um, lighter is better. Hell, even when I go to the African marketplace, you know, like, they have skin bleaching soaps, man. Like, I'm dead serious. You can find soaps that will bleach your skin and lighten your skin. And I don't even know if those, uh, soaps are physically healthy for you to even use. But I mean, like, with, with, with Amar La Negra, I'm saying that, like, with her, with her, like, it seems like that she's grounded to a point where she can actually, like, do something that actually brings, like, that can actually be positive, like, that can actually lead to something that can actually lead to, um, like, some concrete changes in, like, how, like, black, black women in general view themselves and stuff like that, but it can't be done on love and hip-hop, that's the thing, like, I'm sorry to say it, but, I mean, you're, in, in love and hip-hop, like, uh, I don't think you're gonna find a a woman that's gonna be like really a high caliber woman that you would want to like that a guy would want to be with or that a woman would want to uh, aspire to be you know so with her she should like it's just my opinion she should just leave the show man like she I mean because when you look at like love and hip hop, you gotta look at what came out of love and hip hop. And I'm not saying she's gonna end up the same way, but you gotta look up like you know Cardi B came from there. We know how she is, man. I mean, like honestly, like I don't care. I don't care how I don't care how many people say that she's she represents the black community or whatever the case may be. You you can try to sell that narrative to someone else, man, because I'm not buying it. You know, um, and, and you, you know, you see how she is, man. You just see by her behavior, you know. Look at the things she's done, man. I mean, there, there are certain things that she did that I guess you can agree with and stuff like that. But I mean, for the most part, Cardi B's ratchet, man. There's no denying that. But Amar La Negra, thing is, is that although she's an entertainer, right? She's an entertainer. We know that. We we need to. I mean, and we, we should not, I should not take her, um, take her in account as far as her needing to do certain things. This is just my opinion. Because the reality is, unfortunately, we look at entertainers as gods most of the time. Like, we look at entertainers as larger than life figures, basically. I don't, per se, but I'm just saying that because people do look at them as such, that those in position should, like, try to exercise, like, um, 
basically like exercise their influence in a in a good way and i'm not saying that she's not doing it in a good way what i'm saying is that she should get away from loving hip-hop in order for her to do it in a greater way you know now granted i'm pretty sure the paychecks are nice with that reality tv and stuff like that but she she's in the She's at the level where she basically has her own brand and she just needs to build her own brand. You know, that's what I think. Like, she just needs to build her own brand. I think people will still be appealed by her if she were to, like, do her own show and um, also uh, just get away from them, man. Because I'm, I, I'm gonna just keep it like 100% funky with you, man. Shows like Empire, shows like Power, shows like Love and Hip Hop. Like, I mean, the, these shows are not the like, like these are. There's an agenda for these shows, man, and it's not an agenda that is going to be good for um, black people, man. And although, like, I'm continental African, man, I mean, now that I live here and been living here for quite some time now, man, I just see these things going on and I see that, hey, you know, these things, these things affect how people look at me. Even if, like, I come from a different place, my color's still the same, you know? Still gonna get stereotyped the same exact way. Still gonna get profiled the same exact way. Still gonna have prejudgments on me the same exact way. So, I mean, as a final note, what she probably has to do is she would probably have to come out with her own, like, entertainment company basically because if she were to do shows that raise the awareness of these issues and stuff like that and if she were to do these things I think I think that she would like they would try to put it away man because nobody really wants to hear these things I mean no I mean at the end of the day like when you do empower someone like especially when you empower someone who is of the of the black ethnic group you know that I mean that shoot that person will take that baton man and run run with it man you know I'll give you an example and then I'll end this Muhammad Ali you know people disliked Muhammad Ali when he was an active boxer man because that guy made black people appreciate being black man he made people proud of being black with his swagger you know he had he had a swagger that was um you know undeniable i mean one rapper even said uh swagger un um rivaled on what cassius clay be on in one of his songs so you know with that kind of swagger you know just imagine how that rubbed off on other people and you know how that made them feel in a time where they were being demonized brutalized and hated on just for being them you know but anyway man that's all i got for now that was just on my mind you know i just wanted to do a video about this basically because like you know um yeah man i'm I'm just, I'm not no simp, but you know I, I'm I'm just interested in black women's affairs, be it you know black Latin, black Caribbean, black African, black Arab, um, black American, you know. So I just made this video, man. But leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let me know what you think she should do. Let me know if you think she should leave this show and just focus on branding herself even more. And, you know, just stepping out, man. Just leaving that nest. All right, that's all I got for now, guys. Good job.